shot very much in uh, horror style. It's probably more horror than we've had on the show for some time, which is kind of fun because it's all women and a lot of uh, running and screaming through the woods. She suffered a significant wound to her back. What caused the wound? I can't say yet with certainty. Was it an axe? Yes, it could have been. Well, then why are we taking her back to the cabin? We should be taking the rowboat and getting off this island. I think at first, Grace tries to keep it together because she's, you know, used to being around uh, death, obviously. But it's a bit of a different twist on it because it's not, you know, a murder separate from her life. It's happening within her life. And Dr. Grace is normally pretty together, but the situation really shakes her up. Where's Diane? I don't... She was sitting right... Uh, I don't know. I, I only close my eyes a moment. I feel a departure from the, the Ogden character that we've seen because the nature of the women that we're with and things that start happening, she seems to take the lead. Someone has to take charge and she does, so she's gun-toting and she's taking, <laughs> she's taking names. The graceful quality that we see in uh, Ogden goes out the window where she becomes, you know, a warrior. We've done some gore before, you know, we have a murder in every episode, but they're not usually as gory as this one. But I think it's been a fabulous play on, you know, the movie scene and sequences of, of all the Friday the 13th characters and stuff. And I think it's great that we were able to implement that into our time period and into Murdoch. Emily! Emily! Help! Julia, is that you? Help! Is someone out there? I used to watch all the Scream movies, and it does have that element where like someone just like appears somewhere, and you're like, oh, is it them? Was them and again the idea that all the girls get separated in some form and then someone gets locked in here and another one's walking around by herself in the woods. Emily, are you in there? Yes, it's me. Oh, thank God you're all right. Quickly, we have to get out of here before he comes back. The legend of this island, I believe it might be true. I know, I saw the killer last night. I'm absolutely terrified of horror films and I never watch them. I watched some when I was a child and they scared me so much that I never ever watched them since. <laughs> Always in horror films, you're like, why? Why do you need to go into the woods right now? That's why I can't watch them. <laughs> but it's why people love to watch them, so I'm sure they'll find this great. In the past, we've done decapitations, but we actually used a prosthetic head that we had built. But we wanted to use the actress's head in this. So we were able to use um, Jeannie's head, and it was just awesome. I did a, a bridge build on her neck, so it looked like all the flesh was actually coming out of the neck and then put raw meat underneath it. So it gave it a much more real sense than just having it sitting there without all of that. When it came to building the axe wounds, I'd asked for about an hour, an hour and 15, but I think both times that we got them done, we were actually ready before that. We had this one scene where both girls were in it, so we, we did like a little three hour thing prior to them shooting that scene. And I think the audiences were really loved that we really went there with a proper horror sort of story and um, offset with the guys curling, which is a very funny pair.